Hi, this is Andy Crestedina from Orbit Media Studios, and I'm here to show you one of my favorite search engine optimization tricks. This is the best way I know to increase your rankings as fast as possible with the smallest effort. What we're going to do is we're going to go look at our Google Analytics, and we're going to find phrases for which we almost rank high. We're going to make small changes to our website to better optimize those pages for those phrases. Then we're going to come back and make sure and see that it worked, and actually we did increase our rank, did increase our traffic. The whole round trip from this effort should be about five to 10 minutes. So here we go. First, we're going to go into Google Analytics and look for the phrases for which we almost rank high. All the phrases that we rank for are visible in Analytics under Acquisition, Search Engine Optimization, Queries. This report will show you all the phrases that you rank for, the number of times you've appeared in search engines, the number of clicks you've gotten from that ranking, and your average position, in other words, the average ranking for each one of those phrases. So there is plenty of keyword data inside Analytics. The trick is to filter this report so that we're only seeing the phrases for which we almost rank high. So what I want to do is create a filter, not just a filter for, for the, the, uh, the queries, but a filter for the average position. That needs to be an advanced filter. So I want to include things in this report for which the average position is greater than, let's say, 10. Now, if we rank higher than 10, that means we don't really rank on page one, right? A classic search engine results page is you know, 10 organic listings. So if we rank 11 or greater, we likely are on page two uh, or higher. So I'm going to sort this report, click twice to sort it by average position. So now I'm seeing the phrases for which we rank 11 and greater. We rank for all these phrases on page two or below. So let's show some more rows to see all the phrases that we're ranking for here. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm looking for these the phrases that we rank for that are really relevant to my business. The ideal phrases here are phrases for which uh, someone searching for those is really looking for us. Now, I'm on a website. This is a site that does IT support. And the best phrases for them are those related to managed services. So as I scroll down here, I'm looking for phrases. These are the bottom of page one, really top of page two, uh, bottom of page two, top of page three. Down here at the bottom, here's one that looks really good to me. Managed service provider Chicago says 21 as if they're ranking really in the top of page three. If we could rank even if we could rank higher for this phrase, that might lead to a lot of really good traffic. Uh, someone searching for this is very likely to be looking for the for this company's uh, help. And we can see even though we're ranking an average rank of 21, still been seen 170 times in search engines for this date range. And uh, we've actually gotten a couple clicks from it. So next step is for me to go confirm the rank. So I'm going to go into Google now and confirm the rank for this phrase. I'm going to put in Managed Service Provider Chicago to confirm that we actually do rank for this phrase. I'm also checking to see which page is actually ranking. Let's turn off the personalized search results. We want to see as you know, kind of a logged out search, as neutral of a search as we can. There really is no such thing as a neutral search in Google, but uh, it will help just uh, you know, I'm not really trying, this is, there's no perfection here. I just want to see in general, I'm looking to make sure that this page does rank, uh, keeping in mind that my location is relevant, uh, the, the, the browser, the desktop versus mobile, lots of other factors. This is a, you know, I'm not really a personalized search, but still I realize that um, there is no such thing as a fully logged out neutral search in Google. Scrolling down, I'm looking for this client's website and there it is. They're ranking actually in the middle of page one for me and it looks like it's the home page that's ranking itself. Again, I'm, I found this phrase not through normal keyword research, but through looking at the analytics for the phrase managed service provider Chicago. Now, when I click on this phrase, I want to see how well this phrase is optimized for that specific, how well this page is optimized for that specific phrase, hoping that I can make small changes to this page to get an even better result. Manage Service Provider Chicago. Even before I click, I can see the title tag says Manage Network Service Provider. Interesting. Uh, instead of Manage Service Provider. Uh, so that word is kind of uh, breaking up the target key phrase in this case. Maybe by removing the word network, it would say Manage Service Provider or services. So this is plural. I'm really targeting, according to Google, I have a chance here for this. Uh, this phrase when it was in the singular form. This is also uh, the rest of the snippet. This is all called the snippet. The rest of the snippet is going to be the meta description, helping companies with managed network services. We provide reliable IT services to keep your business running. It looks like that could also be a little bit better optimized to include this phrase. All I want to do is to include this phrase both in the title tag, the meta description, and on the page itself. 
Here is our page. We want to, we're checking again to see how well it's optimized for the phrase. I'm going to search for the phrase to see how many times it appears. This is a bonded, altogether key phrase on this page. It doesn't appear even once as a phrase. That doesn't, that's not surprising because we've got the, the, uh, the place name in there, Chicago. I'm going to take out Chicago, and it still doesn't appear once, Managed Service Provider. So the title tag was relevant, Managed Network Services. The, uh, the description, of course, meta description we can change. But also, let's look at this. Managed Service, managed service Provider doesn't appear on this page. What about just Managed Service? Managed Service appears once, just once on the page. I did just Control F to find it on the page. It looks to me like we could better optimize this page, that there's low-hanging fruit and some real opportunities to, to do some simple on-page SEO. Now, before I actually go update this page, I want to make sure that I'm not hurting the rank for a different phrase. So is this page actually ranking for another managed service related phrase? And if I update it to rank for this managed service provider for Chicago phrase, will I be hurting the rank for a different phrase? So to be very thorough about this, I'm actually going to try to find any other phrase that I'm ranking for related to that. So let's just let's do another filter here. Uh, we don't need an advanced filter. We're just going to find all the managed related phrases that we rank for and see if there's something else that this, pa that, that this page might be performing even better for. Uh, I'm seeing all the phrases now for which we rank five and below. Managed, so what is managed service provider? IT managed service plan. Managed service provider America. None of these are dri driving any traffic. None of these are ranking very high. So it really doesn't appear to me that we're actually getting much traction from any other closely related phrase. And it doesn't look like to me that there would be a big risk in updating this phrase to better rank for that phrase that we found just now. So I'm going to recommend that we go ahead and do target that phrase uh, with some confidence that we aren't also hurting the rank for a closely related phrase. Great. We're going to change the page. We're going to come back in a week and see if we improved our rankings. I'll be back. And we're back. So we made some changes on Friday. This was six days ago. And first, let's take a look to see the specific changes that we made to the page. OK, this is the page, and these are the changes we made. The first and most important change was the title tag. The title tag is not on the page, of course. It's just visible in the tab uh, in Chrome or uh, by the address bar in Firefox. So this used to say Managed Network Services Provider pipe. Mother G, which is the brand, and we changed it to simply Managed Services Provider. So we dropped the word network, which was breaking up the target phrase. That's the only change we made to the title. Next in this slide, in this featured image, there was a small change to the text, which, says, which is right here. Uh, this said at the beginning, it said IT Services Provider. We changed it to Managed Service Provider. That's the only change we made to the, to the featured area. So we're just changing text. Our goal here is to, of course, just indicate the relevance for the page. Now in this content block, we changed the phrase from managed network services to simply managed services. Again, dropping out the word network to keep that phrase bonded together. And then in the second content block here, we changed it, uh, a slight change from the phrase managed service firms to managed service providers. We made that change right here as well. Um, those are all the changes we made. We had the opportunity maybe to change it. In the, there was a, a little link down in the, in the footer. It says managed services provider. Uh, if we were getting really fancy or tricky, we might have changed that plural to singular. Google doesn't care. Google knows that the semantic meaning is the same for singular and plural. Not really worried about that whatsoever. And there's also, I think, one other page where we mentioned we wanted to create a link to the home page. There should be probably at least one link to any page that's trying to rank for a phrase with the phrase in the text of the link. Right? That's keyword focused anchor text. Not to be overdone, of course, but it's a good way to indicate a little bit of relevance. And we made one link here on a page about what is a man what are managed services. Um, we linked back to the home page just saying managed services provider. Those are the only changes that we made to this, this page uh, and to this website. OK, all that happened on Friday. By Monday, I took a look, and we had actually impacted the ranking to make sure that it wasn't just a temporary jump, uh, I've actually waited a few days. It's now Thursday, so we are six days post changes. And let's take a look at the rank. OK, here we are on Google. And I'm going to search for the target key phrase, Manage Service Provider Chicago. So I'm in the same browser. It happens to be Safari. I'm, in, I'm actually logged into the same account, which is uh, up here. 
so if you're worried that, that I'm seeing results that are skewed or personalized for me, uh, these are actually the same exact conditions that I searched for before. If you do uh, get the option up here, you can uh, see deep personalized search results. It puts PWS equals zero up in, the, up in the address bar up there. And now this should be a more neutral search. Of course, there is no such thing as a truly neutral search in Google. But these are the same conditions. So as I scroll down, I can confirm that, yes, in fact, that that web page, that home page, did move from the middle of page two in Google to the top of page two, the bottom of page one. Through basic on page SEO, have moved this site from page two to page one in Google. Uh, not bad for just a few minutes of work. Okay, guys, that was it. That's Turbo SEO. That is the biggest impact with the smallest effort. Hopefully, you found this useful. If you did, we'd be grateful if you shared it with a friend or left us a comment below. Uh, we'll keep making these videos. If you like these, uh, sign up for the newsletter, uh, and we will see you on future posts. Thanks. Bye.